Okay, tonight is August 5th, 1987. This was the night Paul made a joke about my hair. <laughs> All right. Okay. Our first guest tonight is uh, one of the most well-known tough guys in England. He's acted in more than 60 films in the last 30 years, and he's the only guest uh, we've ever had that can drink Lee Marvin under the table. Currently in a new motion picture entitled Castaway, folks, please welcome uh, Oliver Reed. Oliver. Hi. Good to meet you, Oliver. Hi. Cute. Come on over here. Cute. That's cute. That was sure cute. We enjoyed that from the start. How you doing? Well, I'm trying to look like Slim. <laughs> trying to look like Slim. Yeah, I'm going to take that uh, Rambo out of his... Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want. That's yeah. fine with me. I uh, understand it goes boom, boom. I understand I've just been outside in the green room. I've seen all these fellas, you know, wrapping them gooks on the head, man. Uh -huh. I'll take that Rambo, go on, okay. do something real mean to him. <laughs> it's, uh... Incidentally, incidentally, somebody, I'm sorry, you want to say something? I was trying to do up my shirt uh -huh. just now, and the button came I off. See. I hope I'm not no, making right. myself too uncomfortable here. It's, uh, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? It's great fun. <laughs> I thought you was terribly serious. I heard this was an intellectual show. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about Lots this. Lots for words, Mickey. <laughs> no, but I, I have a recent history here of bailing out of this plane, so I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you may be flying it by yourself in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'm hip. I'm hip. Where's the camera? I'm hip to that. So, now, is it true uh, when we mentioned in the introduction that you actually were able to drink uh, Lee Marvin under the table? Any truth to that? That's hearsay. Hearsay. Did you and Lee Marvin ever drink together? Yep. Yeah. In Durango. In Durango? All right. And uh, there was no contest about drinking? No. Lee is a, a wonderful fellow. Probably one of the few actors in the world that I admire very much, mm -hmm. along with um, how much time you got. <laughs> we got all the time you want. Uh, Rock Hudson, uh, Rod Steiger. Uh -huh. Lee Marvin, Rod Steiger, mm -hmm. <laughs> Lee uh, Marvin. Yeah. Now, do you, so you and Lee Marvin, you went drinking and you had a contest to see who could drink the most. Yeah, first of all, your researcher was told already that I don't want to talk about drink, understand? Mm -hmm. So let's call that one, get on to a new subject. I love trees and boats. <laughs> so. It's true that you and Lee Marvin had a tree climbing contest? That's right. And we got to the top of this great fir tree. It was in the Redwoods. Uh -huh. And uh, had a couple of pipers over there. They went, can I, can I tell you how the pipers went? They, they put it on their arm. They go, And then Lee Marvin came up, climbed this big fir tree. And then I got into a boat on the top of the tree. But now, and now wait a minute. Marvin oh. sailed away. But now, wait a minute. You, you, I, you, do you, do you still drink? I, and I'll get off this in just a second. I just want to, I mean, it's behind you. You don't drink anymore. Oh, so just, what we're trying to do is recall a colorful anecdote from your past. Yeah, well, what you got to do, man, is to understand that what I'm taking is a high quantity uh, parcel and um, diet. I drink a lot of uh, cups, coffee cups, eat a lot of plates. <laughs> And then I leave all the, the hash browns and everything aside right. and just eat the plates. And so this is why I was trying to come on here and I'm after, I'm after you, uh, Sly. Is there, is there anybody up there who would like to host the show tonight? Just... <laughs> Tell me about where you live now. I live in Guernsey. Where is Guernsey? Guernsey is in the Channel Islands, which is a little set of islands in between uh, France and England, mm -hmm. near the, no uh, the, uh, the north coast of Paste. <laughs> the, the, the north coast of? Paste. Yeah. And uh, what, is, what, what is life there like? Uh, it's a, a closest kinskik with thousands in the Houden So, so you, you stopped drinking because you were afraid you might be no, doing I, permanent damage no, to your nervous no, no, system, no. I guess. Is that? Yeah. Uh, 
I thought this was a Johnny Carson show. I was going to be intellectual. But, but, but strange enough, I, I live there because I wanted to become a fisherman. You wanted to become a fisherman? Okay, mm -hmm. we'll get to that here in just a second. You'd like to turn my lights out, wouldn't you? Uh... <laughs> Boom, and I'm gone. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Uh... That's, uh, did you see this? We got this. Did you see this earlier? Look at this. Yeah, that's you, 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 Hey, brother. Oh, brother. Leave that alone, man. There we go. Okay, Paul. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's just turn this on now. There Sam we go. There it is. You get the light. Beautiful, isn't it? We'll be right back. Oliver Reed is here. Now tell us about life on this island. Are you there most of the time? Well, on Manhattan? No, no, no. In the English Channel, the, the Channel Islands. You yes, mentioned. I am most of the time. Yeah. Uh, there was a long time that I lived on another island in England, mm -hmm. and then I decided that I was going to go and live in Guernsey and buy this boat mm -hmm. and live amongst fishermen. Do you actually go out and fish? No, I wear the boots. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's it's easier can, because, wait, can I tell you the story? yeah, you don't need to get a license just to wear the boots, do you? Well, you do really, because I, I wore the boots, and they got these big boots, and I went in there, and the fishermen, the Guernsey fishermen, they say, what's this boy, you trying to be a fisherman, eh? Uh-huh. Uh, Excuse me. There's a bugler. <laughs> We're chilly in the commissary <laughs> again today. <laughs> but, uh, hang on, I got some digests. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever <laughs> Oh, great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. You think that was rest. Have you yeah. been taking these? Yeah. Well, yeah. then I'll wait. I'll wait till a little later. Um, anyway, so you were being, you're a fisherman. You go out, you have the boots. Yeah, I came into a, a, a fisherman's village once, and uh, they said to me, you got the, you what, you wearing a fisherman, boy? Mm -hmm. Are you a fisherman? So I thought I've got to wear, wear a boat in order to wear the hats on my yeah. head. So what kind of... What kind I of wear the boots in my ears. You have a boat, too? You no. Know, no. I haven't. No, I'm lying about the winch. Oh, I see. I see. Well, now we're really Yes, I progress. have a boat, and it has a winch, and I'm yeah. a fisherman, and I live over there, and I'm very happy there, <laughs> and it's wonderful, and I drank 106 pints, and I screwed Lee Marvin at drinking, and I... <laughs> We've got that over, and that's your researcher, and jolly good. Are you going to be bright now? No, I just... I... No. No, I would just... I thought you were going to talk about movies this stretch. Sure, you want to talk about movies? Yeah, right. I want to talk about Castaway. <laughs> <laughs> now, but now you're pissed off, right? Now, now you're pissed off. No, I'm off. Okay. So tell me about Castaway. You know, the woman who wrote the book was actually here. The woman who lived that uh, story was here. <laughs> and at the time, I thought it would make a darn good movie. How did it turn out okay? Yeah, uh, well, that's up to everybody that goes to the movies to judge mm -hmm. for themselves. A lot of people make a mistake of um, uh, messing up Lucy Irwin, who played... She was the Amanda, young lady. Yeah, that's right, who played Lucy Irwin, who, and Amanda Donahue played the part, mm -hmm. and myself, Gerald Kingsland. A lot of people mix us up, especially uh, um, women's libbers. Mm. Uh, I can only talk for myself. I thought it was... Um, she's got a great body. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, briefly, the story is a, a gentleman uh, no, wants... he's no gentleman. <laughs> All right, a guy wants to retire to an island, I guess, in the South Pacific, off the coast of Australia or New Zealand or something? Uh, yeah. Roughly? Yeah. 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 And he, yeah. he runs an ad for a female companion. Yeah, Isn't that the story? Yeah, thank you for filling me in. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't filling you in. Uh, I was trying Ooh, to educate the... It didn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, considering your condition, maybe it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what my condition is. Well, it's just a joke. No, come on, what's no, my condition? Well, no, I know, just a joke. Well, you it's just, assume, oh, it's a joke, is it? It's only a joke, and not, and not much of a joke. I'll, I'll grant you that. It, it was, believe me, I didn't, I didn't even think it was, Paul, get over here. Paul, no, 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 come on, no, Dave, you don't, listen. Uh, we, we have, we have soda and snacks in the green room, and you can, you can have all of those you want. I thought they were there. No. All right, so now the movie comes out briefly, shortly, soon, comes out? Yes, it comes in New York. At, uh, I've got to say all these things, and I'm sure that I'm right. Uh, I think... That... 
comes out in the beginning of September in New York and the rest of America at the end of September. Can I thank you for being so erudite? <laughs> well, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate your uh, patience here. We, uh, we'll pause here for station identification and uh, we'll be right back. I'm here with my good friend Oliver Reed, and he has a message for you about tonight's show. Yeah, well, it's a bloody repeat. Go to bed. Thank you very much, Oliver. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the uh, show. Boy, it got warm in here. Uh, you know, when something like that happens, I, I don't feel so badly but, uh, for me, but tonight especially, it's the boy's first day, and I, I hate, to, hate to see something like that happen on a, on a show that he's producing like that. That's yeah, too know. bad. Well, well if you had any control over the show... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, coming up uh, later, or soon, or just any minute now, uh, Dominique Lafort with the performing Trained Cats, and uh, also uh, Randy Travis. Yes. Going to sing with uh, the band, and I guess a couple of his own uh, players. Brought some pickers from Nashville. Okay. And uh, tomorrow on the program, Richard Lewis will be here, and a woman who windsurfed across the Atlantic. Is this the, the lady? Huh? From Miami. Huh? A man. A man. A man, a man who windsurfed from Miami. Across the Atlantic. Did, did he know the woman who did it? Uh, Stephanie Pyron will be here. Stefan. Stefan. <laughs> Things are going pretty smoothly, don't you think, Paul? <laughs> Under the new, uh, new regime? New All right, regime. anyway, that'll... New regime. Uh, Richard Lewis and uh, Patty Smythe. Ah, yes. Yeah. That'll Play be good, with us good tomorrow. Show tomorrow. And now we have uh, little actual items that we found in an actual supermarket. Paul, music for this? Yes. That's enough. Okay, Paul. That's enough. Thank you. We don't have nearly that kind of... Okay, that's enough. <laughs>